Hello, everybody. We are Geeks Assembled, and today, myself and Susan are discussing a 1932 movie considered to be the very first feature-length zombie movie mm -hmm. of its time. Uh, we are discussing White Zombie, starring Bella Lugosi, that man in black again. Um, it's a tale of, well, it's a tale of jealousy, love, um, and of course, mind control, zombified people. Uh, on the, we will go to Susan then for her opening thoughts on White Zombie. Okay, <laughs> directed by Victor Halpern, and he's his name appears throughout it. You know, it's kind of weird, but um, mm -hmm. and uh, this uh, this guy is in love with this woman, sets out to marry her. They go to this tropical Caribbean place, and. Um, when they get there, they run into this this guy, who um, who he is, he uses her. Uh, he uses his this this weird guy's uh, sort of Vorlock's power to change her to into a zombie. In order that in order that the wedding would go forward, and it's just it's it's so creepy on two different levels because it is it is a lover's triangle, mm -hmm. and um and and then uh you know the the fellow Lugosi's character ends up like you know kind of in the middle of it. It's just really weird, but. This is a really sort of morally ambiguous uh, story, and but it's really uh, it's it's got that the zombification is the stuff like serpent and the rainbow zombification, not the stuff that's like the if you get oh. bit by a zombie. Yeah, exactly. It's it it's not the stuff that if you get bit by a zombie, you end up wanting or you get the blood of a zombie. You not like uh 28 weeks later or whatever mm -hmm. and um but it's it is super uh it, it's super eerie because of course Bela Lugosi with his hands and his eyes and that when he brings his eyes together and they do that thing and that all the his bushy eyebrows stick out about this far <laughs> I don't know yeah yeah, so I, it's just my first time watching it. Um, oh. I, uh, but I do love Bella Lugosi, and I'm really enjoying everything that, that we're watching this this Bella Lugosi season and this uh, creepy, uh, wonderful, spooky season. And anyway, I really enjoyed it, and so, um, <clears throat> yeah. And it was so. It was. It was again pretty short. I guess movies used to be about an hour and twenty minutes long. Is all. So it was easy to watch. Yeah. Oops, yeah. Um. Over, back over to you, Lee. What you What do you think of it? Uh. Yeah. It's well. This is a year after he became so famous of the role he is most known for. Um. In this in this one, he's p playing a voodoo master um, by the name of Merda Legendre, legendary or something like that. Uh -huh. um, as you say, he controls the zombies. The the they're not as you said they're not brain eating zombies. They're just corpses walking. Under his control to work in the into in his um, trigger mill, in, yeah, in his mill, in his plantation thing, um, and then you get the other character, um, oh, um, Beaumont, who's the other plantation owner, who's madly in love with uh, Madeline, mm -hmm. she, she's 
marrying the other guy. Um, uh, what's his name? Uh, Neil Parker. It? Neil, Neil, yeah. Um, so as you say, that's a love triangle. But the the Beaumont can see. Like he even even on a wedding day, he he allows a, a, the wedding to happen in his in his plantation. Uh, he's the one who's giving the bride away, and as he's walking down the stairs, he's, he's telling her he'll give everything for her, he'll do anything for her, just don't go through with the wedding. Uh, you know he loves her, he loves her, but she won't have it because she's in love with the other guy. Um, yep. so he comes around if his thinking is if he can't have her. The other guy can't have a go see Bella, some man control, um, some under this control. She di- well dies. She drinks the drink. She drinks the drink, of uh, which, as you mentioned in the um, Serpent and the Rainbow, that was the sort of thing they were doing: the drugs, the drink, uh, to comatose the body, to make make people believe that they are dead, and they come back brainless. Uh, just you know, just a shell, really, really, of, of my cells. And this is what he does. Uh, so she's buried in the crypt, um, for for him to later to take away, for him to be, become a zombie, zombie bride or zombie prisoner in his own house. Um, but but then again, he doesn't. And then and then, after a while, he doesn't like it because it's not hair. Right, yeah, and um, and 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 the and the husband, because they do go through with the with the wedding, and they do marry before she, you know, before she becomes the zombie. Um, he, he's distraught. His his life is gone. His takes to a bit of drink. His is, you know, and his only hope is the um the preacher, who married them. He's the he's the sort of comic relief of the of the movie. Yeah. Um, what's his name now? Uh, Doctor Bruner, uh, missionary preacher. Um, always asking if you've has anybody, you've got a match to light his pipe. <laughs> Have you got a match? <laughs> um, but it's but, but for me, it's the the performance of of Bella Lugosi as as this voodoo master. He, the, his, his hands are like that. He claps his hands. Then it goes to his eyes. As again, we've said this before, the lighting on the eyes, which in Dracula it happened, in Invisible Ghost it happened, and it's happening in this. So Hollywood saw, the, they knew his eye <laughs> were a selling point. Uh-huh. Um, look into my eyes. Mm-hmm. Um yeah, his performance as as uh, as well. We'll call him murder because that's what he said, murder legendre. Um and Madge Bellamy as Madeline. Her performance as the as the zombified Madeline. Um, just that, just just soulless. You know, just sat there. Uh, great performance, and I don't. There, there was something with 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 Beda and Beaumont because he he's he's become fond of him as well, hasn't he? Yeah. Uh, he's slowly slowly turning him. Into yeah. Movie, but he's he's not doing it all the way. He, and you can see you can see the pain and the madness creeping up on on him. Ah, uh, Bellamy. Yeah. Um, yeah. It's just uh, it, the the way he, like Bella Lugosi, was torturing him really. Just while he's uh, he's he's trying to control his his ticks and his his twitches and all like that, and he's sat there just. Modeling the um the wax model of him, the other voodoo model doll mm. of him, just sat there. <laughs> it was creepy. It really was. Yeah, 
I mean, for for the for, was it nineteen thirty two, and to, for this subject as well, but, you know, of because uh, there must they must have got this idea from 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 um, documentations of things happening in Haiti. Yeah, <laughs> this is where it's set in Haiti. Uh, it is. Yeah, it's the. Uh, I enjoyed it. It's as you say. It's it's only what sixty seven minutes long. Oh man! So you're not even like an hour and ten. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, this is as I said before. Uh, this is because back in the day, you used to get double features. Mm -hmm. This is how you got double features. The films was only just over an hour long, so you could fit another movie in. Um, but you didn't. It didn't need to be any longer. It no. did. What it did what it said on the tin from A to B. It was a good, true, uh, you know, love triangle, um, horror, suspense for its day. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it was a good choice, Susan. I thought so too. Um, I just, I'm really enjoying all the Bell Lugosi that I can get my, that I can shake my stick at. I just, <laughs> you know, he's so cool. Mm -hmm. And he was, uh, I mean, he was uh, trained uh, to to express himself like with his whole body. Yeah, and you know, you just you just got such an amazing per perspective on on darkness and evil through what he pre presented. He was. I mean, and eventually he felt rather typecast in, in the, the bad guy position, but. Well, oh, yeah, I mean, also as well, he, he didn't have a, the success didn't stay with him. Um, and that was one of the main reasons he took to uh, drugs. Yeah, he was a, a opiate addicted dude. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Um, that sort of took over his life near the end of his life. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think he, I think he passed away in about nineteen fifty six. I think. Um, yeah. So before, before, before that, he was getting parts in B movies. What what, what wasn't very good. Um, mm -hmm. But from the the movies leading up to that, you know, amazing. Amazing movies. Yeah, his uh, he was one of the universal, the most the uh, most prolific ones in the universal lot, and mm -hmm. like, can't remember if this one's universal, but it was so, it was, oh no, it was United Artists. That's right, yeah. and um, it's just a really, it was a really good story. I don't know where the story came from, but it was really good. Um. And it was, uh, and it was, it was a really cool uh, genre piece, and it really started. It started a lore. Yeah, I mean that. That's that's what's fun about these things that 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 Lugosi did is that he actually created some of the the lore that that all these other uh, writers and all these other producers and all these other. Uh, uh, fantasy or whatever these these uh, these folks have uh, you know gone and used at some point or another. It's just really cool how that all worked and um, and so he was he was so amazing. And then the other thing was is that is that the the Madge Bellamy was. Uh, I mean, it's obvious she came from silent movies because of her ability to create that space uh, or create that ambiance just with her physicality. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was great, and and this wasn't too too long into the 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 sound motion pictures. So I just don't know. That was cool, and um, yes. 
Dr. Bruner was great as as a as the the sort of lighthearted comedic um you know uh, you know basically uh the only lighthearted character in the thing because everybody else was so tragic or so and yeah, then there was true. like the there was this uh this sort of lemming experience when they were all going to the cliffs and jumping off and, he, and i was like but that wouldn't kill them they're already dead well i think because uh, is uh, the, the mostly not the mostly drugged oh yeah okay like like uh um Madge Bellamy's character was. Oh, okay. So, so, so they, it is possible that they that they did that 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 line of lemming suicide. I don't know. That was that was really that was really gruesome. Mm -hmm. And you know, I love I love it when they shoot these gr gory or gruesome or. Or scary movies right on the right on a cliff face that that can only be good, you know. <laughs> well, you know what's going to happen, don't you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> this um, this was based on the book "The Magic Island" by oh. uh, William Seabrook. Okay. So that's where the ideas came from. And, Thanks. And it, and you said it was um, what film company was it? Uh, production company it was Helper in Productions. But, yeah, uh, but it was United Artists. It wasn't Universal, though. Well, it says here large portions of the movie were shot on the Universal Studios lot. Oh, all so right. I think they were, I think they were all. all right. I, but, be um, I believe you. It's uh, it only cost only cost fifty thousand dollars to make. Fifty, fifty, or fifteen, five zero. Oh, yeah. and most of that will be um Lagos's wages, most probably. Mm -hmm. Uh, film. I did like, I did, I did like at the beginning, at the very beginning of the movie, that 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 music, the. the the song the people were singing at, the, at this funeral, you know, as, as the credit card, white zombie and all that. And, and they, explained, they were burying the body in the road. Yeah. So, so people could not come and pinch it because the people are traversing over the road all the time. Right? Yeah. I mean, and that how, was... how, you know... What a great foreshadowing for the whole thing, you know. I mean that that must that must be true. They must have done that in the you know historically have buried the bodies in the roads to stop you know people getting at them. Hmm. Uh, good idea. I think I might do that. Huh. Tarmac. Uh, mm -hmm. So, anything else you want to say about White Zombie? Um. The white part of the white zombie was probably because of her gown. It was, yeah. a, it was she was a, a little bit a lady in white, also. Yeah, she was pale. No, but but she was the lady in white, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. One of those ghostly person persons who uh, who causes ripe and ruin to 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 men by you know. Controlling them, somehow. Mm. It was that was cool. That was really cool. I thought that 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 was a, a really good part of it. Yeah, it was, yeah, it was a a good watch. And I thought for, it said, for its time, it stood up very well. Yeah. And I don't. I don't think this has been remade or anything. To be honest. Don't don't recall it ever being remade into another. I don't know. Another movie or anything like that. 
But uh, so if uh, if we want to go on to uh, final say and score, sure. <clears throat> All right. Well, um, I will. I enjoyed it a lot. I had a lot of. Uh, there were a lot of like, you know, moments of uh, of real beauty in this, and real and real sad, and like the the lovers triangle was legit, and the I mean the tension was great. I just thought so much. So I'll give this like nine. Um, Nine, nine drummers beating out the rhythm out of ten, and and uh, yeah, and a little bit of the the drink to go. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's yeah, it's a cool movie. It's um, it's a solid sort of movie. Um, for me, the performance of Lugosi is. Stands out. Um, I'm gonna, I'll, I'm gonna give this eight point five matches out of ten. It's an enjoyable movie, short and sweet, really. Yeah. So that's our little review of White Zombie. Um, I enjoyed it. Susan enjoyed it. I hope you mm -hmm. enjoyed it out there. If you've seen it, um, leave a message below on this video if you have. Let us know what you thought of the movie. Mm -hmm. uh, if you haven't, I would recommend you go in to find it. It's it's in the public domain to watch. Mm -hmm. um, so, guys, leave a message below on the video. You'll find that you find this video on all the social media platforms. It's shared out on all of them. Um, if you want to join us doing these, recording these, or just join our group, please let us know. Leave a comment as well as before. Now, if you're you a horror fan, we're right in the middle of the horror season. Yeah, so, if you're a horror fan, what, fun. Like, sci fi fan, you know, drama fan, Western fan, you know, whatever you want, fantasy fan. Um, exactly. We do all talks, so audio fan as well. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, leave a message. You just have to be 18 plus because some things we watch and talk about are 18 rated, of course. We, we you know we don't want to get into trouble. Um, all you need is a working microphone and camera on the device you use, and we'll just set it up every uh, Sunday so you can join us. Um, also, if you subscribe to our channel, well, you should be subscribing to our channel. Uh, please press the bell notification button, and you'll get notified every time we uh, put a video. Up. So. I think that's everything, isn't it, Susan? Did you hear that? Did I hear what? Huh. Ding, ding, then. Oh, sorry. I, didn't, oh, I was too busy doing my spiel. Uh, it's, it's all right. I just, I, I just couldn't. I don't know if I can. No. Anyway. So, yeah. So, Susan's gone ding, ding. So, that means end of round one. Um, will we um, do another cast very soon so i hope to uh, we see you then um until next time be safe <laughs>